look at this pretty earth. It'd be a lot more pretty if humans didn't live on it. What a shame. Anyways, a big part of humans is their constant thirst for knowledge. And to pursue this knowledge, humans need electricity to power their everyday things. Currently, the United States gets most of its energy from natural gas plants. But I think there's a better alternative to this power production. Nuclear power. Yeah, I know. New and different things are scary. But don't fall out of your chair because I still have lo a lot of more time left of me talking about this power problem. So take out your cell phones and completely ignore my presentation because here come a lot of numbers. Oh my god. Listening to Kyle's boring project. So many numbers. Yes, I'm sorry. Currently in the world, there are 449 nuclear reactors operating. 60 are being built. Only two nuclear power plants have ever had a meltdown. That means every, that means every nuclear reactor only has a 0.445434293% chance of having a meltdown. For you slower people, that's less than a percent. There are 99 nuclear reactors in the United States. All of these 99 nuclear reactors produce 20% of the United States power consumption. However, the biggest power producer in the U.S. is natural gas power plants, with 33% of the U.S. energy consumption. There are 1,740 natural gas plants in the United States. That means one natural gas plant creates 0.0189% of U.S. power, while one nuclear power plant creates 0.2% of U.S. power consumption. That means one nuclear power plant makes the same amount of energy as 10 natural gas power plants. But what about emissions? Well, a chart from the WNA shows that nuclear power lets out a small fraction of, of the amount of what natural gas and other means of, of energy production release. So that means it's better for the environment less CO2 into the air. Well, now that you know all those numbers, how does a nuclear power plant actually work? Well, down to the atom, a loose neutron flies at a high speed to hit a uranium-235 isotope, not to be confused with a uranium-238 isotope, which cannot be used in nuclear reactions. This creates a lot a lot, a lot of heat. This heat heats up water and then the resulting steam spins a turbine which creates electricity. Well now that you know how a nuclear power plant works, what, how much does it cost? Well the average nuclear power plant costs around five billion dollars to make, while a natural gas plant costs around 550 million to make on average. But remember earlier I said one nuclear power plant can make as much power as 10 natural gas plants? So that means to equal the amount of energy one nuclear power plant makes with natural gas would cost 5.5 billion, slightly more than one nuclear power plant. Not all plants are created equal. I sure hope you learned something about nuclear power plants. I sure did. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry you had to listen to my boring video. Uh, the only thing you're probably going to remember anyways is the part where I tripped on a rock. Or that picture I took in my room where I had like 58 chins. I mean, you can count them. Uh, thank you. It's not all the math myself. You can cut it there. <laughs> I got all my information from reliable sources. Cut it.